Hey guys, so today I'm here with my August book haul. I've accumulated quite a few books. I didn't actually realize how many until now that I'm looking at the pile that's on the floor here. But it's not as much as some months. I think I did a pretty good job. Got a lot of good deals on these books, so it's not, I don't think I paid full price for any of them. So that's a good thing. So let's go ahead and get started. First, as always, I'm going to show you the books that I got for my Kindle. The first book I got is Paperweight by Meg Haston. This book was recommended to me by Emma Books. I'll link her channel down below. She's really, really cool. I really like watching her videos. I'm sure you probably already know who she is, but if you don't, go subscribe to her. This book is about a girl with an eating disorder, and I've never read a book. I don't think I've read a book about a character with an eating disorder. And Emma has said that it's a very accurate de depiction of someone with an eating disorder. So that's why I picked it up, and I actually have already read this book, and you can hear about my thoughts in my August wrap-up, which will be coming out here within the next week or two. And the other book I got on my Kindle was The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. I've heard super good things about this book. I know it's a magical realism about a girl who's born with wings, which sounds kind of super interesting, so hopefully I will like this. It's been on my reading list for a while, but I, but I just haven't picked it up until now, and it was like 99 cents, and I had to get it. Now onto the physical books. These first three ones I got from Half Price Books. The first book is a book I've already read, and I have a copy on Kindle, and that is The Martian by Andy Weir. This is probably going to be on my favorites list for this year, because I absolutely love this book. I read it during Booktubeathon. I would highly recommend it. It's about an astronaut who gets stuck on Mars, and he's having to figure out how to survive until he can be rescued. And it's really, really good, and I wanted to get my own physical copy so I can reread it. And I love this cover. It's, I just like the orange, like, ombre look. I think it's really cool. And then I also picked up Codename Verity and Rose Under Fire by Elizabeth Vine. I've heard very good things about these. Um, I have a friend who doesn't even read a whole lot of YA and she absolutely loved Codename Verity, so I definitely have high expectations. And then Rose Under Fire is the companion book. I don't know too much about them, but I know that they're historical fiction set in World War II and they're very critically acclaimed, so I'm super excited to get to these. Then I was at Barnes & Noble and I did the thing. I bought The Hamilton, aka Hamilton the Revolution by Lin-Manuel Miranda and Jeremy McCarter. I was actually not going to buy this at Barnes & Noble, but I was standing there just like kind of flicking through it. And as I was flicking through it, the soundtrack started playing in the store and I was like, it's a sign, I need to buy this. And it was 40% off because I'm a member and it was actually cheaper than what you get online. And so I was like, sure, why not? I'll just go ahead and get it. And I did. And I'm really happy I did. It's been really fun, like, flicking through it and reading the lyrics and the annotation. Basically, there's, like, pictures and then all the lyrics for all the songs. And then Lin-Manuel Miranda's written some annotations about, like, the process of writing. And then there's various essays about the production. And I haven't read too many of the essays, but I will definitely be reading them soon. I don't think I'll ever, like, read straight through this book like a book. I think it's kind of just going to be like a book where I flick through it. But yes, I'm really, really happy I have this book. And if you're a Hamilton fan and you haven't picked this up, I definitely think you should. It is quite a bit of money. I got it for a really good deal. But if you can find it for a really good deal, I would definitely, definitely pick it up. And then just like everybody and their mother, I bought Harry Potter and the Cursed Child by J.K. Rowling. John Tiffany and Jack Thorne. I have read this one I will talk about in my August wrap-up, but I can tell you right now that I was rather disappointed with it. I liked parts of it, but overall it was kind of meh, and I just it just wasn't, wasn't my favorite. But you can hear more about my thoughts in my August wrap-up, because I have a lot of them. The next book was my uppercase book for the month, and that is P.S. I Like You by Casey West. It's about a girl named Lily who writes notes to this mystery person who's in her chemistry classroom who sits at her desk but at a different class period and she starts writing notes to him and then she starts falling for him and it's just really really cute and I've read this one and you can hear about it in my August wrap-up. Um, yes, it was really really good. I would definitely recommend it. 
These next three books I got from Book Depository because I got an email from Book Depository saying, hey, you haven't bought anything from us for a while. Here's a 10% off coupon. And I was like, heck yes. There were some books that I was wanting to get. And I got these for pretty cheap. The first one I got is Royal Wedding by Meg Cabot. This is the 11th book in the Princess Diaries series. Um, I just have to read the 10th one and then I can read this one. And then the series is going to be over, which kind of makes me sad because I really like this series. I also know this is um, shelved with the adult books rather than the YA book, so it'll be interesting to see how this compares to the rest of the series. Then I got Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton, which is in the UK paperback edition. All I know about this book is it's a, like, fantasy book that's set in the desert, and it kind of re reminded me a little bit of The Wrath and the Dawn, like that kind of vibe, and I really enjoyed that book, so I'm excited to check this one out. I have heard really good things about it. The last book I got is The Square Root of Summer by Harriet Ruder Hapgood. I haven't heard a ton about this, but I do know it has a lot to do with like math and like physics and that kind of stuff. And if you don't already know, I'm a chemistry major and I love reading about science in books, which you don't get a whole lot of because I feel like science and literature don't tend to mix very well, but I really like it when I can see science in books. Also from Book Depository, I got these cute little color your own bookmarks and I've colored them obviously already. But yeah, they're super cute, and I definitely want to order from Book Depository more in the near future and get some more of these cute little book parts, because I had a lot of fun coloring them. And I think it's just such a super cute idea. And these last three books I got from Book Outlet, of course, because what would a book haul be without Book Outlet? The first one I got is Rebel Mechanics by Shauna Swenston. I don't know too much about this, I haven't heard a whole lot about this, but I do know that it's a steampunk book and it's like an alternate history where the British won the American Revolution. So that's super interesting. And I really like steampunk books. I haven't read a whole lot of them, but like The Infernal Devices I've loved. I think that actually might be the only steampunk I've read. But I'm super excited to get into this and see if I like it or not. Then I also picked up Riders by Veronica Rossi. I don't know too much about this one either, but I know it has something to do with the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Like this guy wakes up and he's one of the Four Horsemen. Which sounds kind of interesting. Sounds like it has some mythology aspects, and I really like mythology. I have read a book by Veronica Rossi, uh, Under the Never Sky, and I wasn't a huge fan of it, but I want to give her another shot, and this was cheap on Book Outlet, and I was like, why not? So I got it. The last book of this book haul is Library of Souls by Ransom Riggs. This is the third and final book of the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children trilogy. And I've been meaning to pick this up for a while. I was kind of going to wait till it came out in paperback so it matched my other two books. But then I found out the paperback doesn't come out until like March. And I thought I should just go ahead and get this now because I'm probably going to want to read this in like October when it's like fall time. But I really like this series and I know the movie's coming out pretty soon. So I want to read this maybe and hopefully finish the series before I see the movie. It's a really, really good series and I would definitely recommend it. It, it kind of seems like it might be creepy, but it's really not. I promise I'm like a big baby when it comes to creepy books and I don't really find these books creepy much at all. Really good series. Go read it if you haven't. So that's all I have for my book haul. Let me know if you've read any of these books in the comments down below, and I will see you again next time. Goodbye!